the action in this anime goes hard. We actually got to see Excalibur. Oh my god, this is like the best episode so far, last episode, right? But then I don't think it's gonna have a happy ending. The dragon curses us. This is, we're gonna be strong, absolutely. She's gonna be crazy. But at the cost of what? We've seen Anis over and over how she does not even like value her life. All she cares about is achieving her goals to become a magician no matter the cost. And it's going to get to come at the cost of her life. And Yuffie's going to have to bear that. This isn't going to have a happy ending, is it? I, I, don't, I don't have a good feeling about this. Let's begin the reaction. The long black dress with the gloves, right? They're just holding on in the back. Yeah, it's her. The long black. Oh, oh, the gloves, man. Something about the gloves. Oh. Magenta. Just like her eyes. I like Toasty's eye bags. Too. Her entire design is so good. That's definitely my type. Okay. So this is the Dragon Magicite. And Anis wants to implant it into her. But that hasn't happened yet, obviously. It's still here. Well, what did the dragon do to Anis? She gave her his powers through some kind of curse, though. I, it's two separate things, so she's going to be able to use this to use more magic. But she also... Yeah, what, what is this curse? Explain it. Eh? Huh? <laughs> Knowledge. Information. <laughs> well, how, how big of a deal is this? <laughs> wait, Anis is looking like... Wait, she's looking like how Anis approaches Yuffie. Hmm. Oh, she's a little blushing. She's getting so excited about this. She's a good person. She just kind of looks... Uh... She's a baddie for sure. Oh, look at this design. Oh, she can't take compliments. <laughs> Very cute. Tilti's the best. Like, her design, for sure, is my favorite. Like, out of anything. Something about those dark, little translucent gloves. Mmm. This is so dangerous, Arya. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we can have a happy ending. Maybe she won't go mad with the dragon's curse and this implanting of this. But this is... Oh, I don't know, man. Father, I have slain the dragon. Please don't punish me. Uh, oh? Is this? is this mom? Oh, finally we get to meet the mom. You're alive. That's true. Where has she been all this time? God damn, the mom. She's quite the milf too, huh? <laughs> all the girl characters in this show, their design is flawless, man. So she does diplomacy work. She's like an ambassador. Yeah, we slayed a dragon. Want to hear about it? I can't believe they didn't bring up the topic of the dragon. Like we slayed a dragon, bro. Like, are you gonna? Are you back massage time? Who's giving the massage? Oh, it's cursed stuff. Never mind. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Man, Tilty, man. We need more Tilty scenes like this. Everybody favors her. Magic's involved? Dark-hearted curse nerd. Yeah. Yes, the great curse master. A little bit. Oh, careful with the camera angle. So, what does the... What, what does she have? Some kind of blessing to make everybody favor her? I don't know. What? Bro! What are you... Uh... Alright, whatever. It's a secret. So, this is implanting it. Because like we like melted it. <laughs> you can kind of see her ass crack. <laughs> I can't... We didn't implant it yet? Or do we like melt the magicite and then basically... Painted it on her. Is that what's going on? I don't really know. Is this the implant stuff? I can't get over this little ass crack in the back. Hi, <laughs> you little ass crack! <laughs> Whoa, Annie's new dress? Well, it looks nice on her, but I don't think she cares about stuff like this. What's Yuffie wearing? Are we matching? Yuffie can't. Yeah, obviously she can't. Um, this, you know, that they're. They're talking about you, you know? <laughs> the big interrogation time. Damn, the king, the queen. And Annie is, oh, looking very royal. But here we go. The Baron and his daughter. He's, she's a commoner, right? Laney. What kind of magic do you have? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, my daughter happened to break your arranged marriage and steal the prince. 
I guess if I wasn't that, I'd be yeah, pretty sweaty too. It makes sense. It makes sense. Alright, Lainey. What's up? She gonna act like a frightened little rabbit? Or is she more cunning than, we, than meets the eye? Is this all really part of the princess's plan or is she really just innocent? I, I don't know. Huh? Huh? Well, that's a lot of booba. Oh, wait, wait, what? Huh? But? Hmm. Is she just the master of this talking politic bullshit? Or is he really innocent like this? But, but they're already falling into They're just agreeing with her immediately. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no... There's not even a sense of doubt. I... Because, like, you know, it, they said that everybody that interacts with her just favors her no matter what. I want Anis to call her bullshit out right now. Wait, 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 wait. You feel something odd? Doesn't feel right. A chip? Uh oh. Thanks for breaking the silence. Okay, now, talk your shit. What's going on here? Why is everyone agreeing with her immediately? What's up with this? Oh, come on, it's just the sneeze, but I guess this is kind of like a really important moment. Just a one-on-one. -on -one. Hmm. This angle, man, gee, that's a lot. That's a lot, but there's something more to her than meets the eye, huh? Is she really super innocent and little? Ew, I'm just a cute little bunny rabbit. I would never, you know, I would never, you know, um... Uh, just trying to steal the prince, but what if they're all just talking like this. Because they all have been just captured by her magic. What is this? Chartreuse. Is this something to do with him? Because I remember, didn't he talk shit on Annie's in like episode one when we first met all these important people here? Verify these nuts. Get out of here. Maybe. Oh, oh, we're getting a little bit serious all of a sudden. You dare speak up to me? Oh, that's right. She is like the, well, not really a crown princess anymore because she gave up the throne, but she is the princess. What are they going to talk about? I hope Lainey shows her true, this angle, man. Oh my God. I hope Lainey shows her true, true self. I want her to like suddenly just break character and then be like all evil and mischievous. Or maybe she's just really super innocent. I don't know. So far, she just seems so innocent. I mean, look at her. She's like crying. This is all part of an act. Can we trust her? Hmm. Hmm. We're back. Oh, hey, where are you going? Where are you? <laughs> I'm very, very boingy, boing. What are you? You just groped her and that's it? Bro. I thought suddenly she was going to break her. What is that? It's that same like sensation again. Subconsciously using magic? She doesn't even realize it. So she's actually an innocent person. But she's always letting out just leaking <laughs> this magic that makes people favor her. Jesus Christ, the princess groped her. Now she's making her cry. This looks pretty bad. Power of fascination. Fascination. Doesn't fascination mean to be like bewildered by something? To be like amazed? To be, to be fascinated with something? Like how Annie's is fascinated with like magic. Everybody's fascinated with her. She's always like leaking that kind of power. People have always liked her because they're fascinated with you because of that magic side. Hmm. Fascination. What kind of, you know, what's our theme with the dragon? The prince became fascinated with her, and then it led to him kind of like ending it with Yuffie. Can we blame her? We can't. She did this subconsciously. It is quite dangerous. Exile her right now? <laughs> yeah? Take the magicite out? Oh, we're taking her in. Huh? Really? Okay. Just joining our squad? We've got Yuffie and Lainey now? What? What's, what's wrong, Mom? Yeah, not only that, because it's like... Because the prince is really into her. 
Well, because of the magic a bit. Yuffie, this is so awkward. It's like, how are you gonna bring over the girl that stole her? Yuffie's guy? It's. Then again, there was it was it was an arranged marriage, but goddamn, this is gonna get a little awkward. Post credit scene. Oh, the prince! Does the prince realize he's being fascinated? Also, what's up with this green dude? Our plan. Who planned this? Who planted the magicite? One of you? I don't know, man. What's your plan? But she's like not trying to stand in your way. What's your plan? Hmm. Weakness is a deal. Understand? She got like dragon powers now. The prince talks big, but I haven't seen results just yet. And the what? The prince really does talk big, and I hope that he's I hope that he's competent, because I haven't seen any results yet. Was it his plan to get the dragon kill steal from him after making such a big, you know, big like a big scene, a commotion against the Council of Boomers, and the king was like, "Fine, it's it's up to you to slay the dragon." It's like, psych, Anis already got it. Or aren't people already talk like talking shit about the prince? It's like, oh, the prince is without magic, slay the dragon. What is this useless prince? So it's like, I don't know. What is he really up to? I hope he shows me the actual results soon. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction. Please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.